Shalom to everyone. Today we're learning Zela Shimshon Panashat Vaishlach Lera Dalet. And today's sponsor for the Shi'ur is Mr. Yosef Ilyabaev. Hashem should give him Bracha Vatzlacha. The Leilu Nishmat of his dear father, Melo Shalomo Ben Ima Shalom, and his grandmother, Ima Shalom Bat Tova. And Leilu Nishmat Eliyahu Ben Sana. And also Amavdil Ben Chaim Le Chaim should be the Fuash Lema, La Chokola Mosal Biklalam. Eliyahu. The Mikre Baris Ben Lea and the Fuash Lema also Bella Bat Esther Bella Bat Esther and also I can't hear you Sonia Bat Miriam Rahama Pro Malka Rahama Pro Malka Lea Lea Bat Hana Serel Bat Hana Serel Alisha Ben Rahel Alisha Ben Rahel What happened to you? וגם אלישע בן לחל רפואה שלמה. גם אילנה בת דיאנה רפואה שלמה. גם שלב השמחה בן לוזו. וגם לחל בת דורה. וגם רפאל בן ציביה. מה קורה לכם? רפואה שלמה. Larissa Leah Bat Tamar and Louisa Bat Zilpo and also Mr. Lipman, Yosef I don't know how to do it Yosef Leib Ben Sarah Leah Rafa Shlema and also Rafa Shlema Rafa Shlema Rafa Shlema Rafa Shlema Rafa Shlema Amen וגם לנשמת? רבי אליהו מאיר בן רפאל ברוך הוא ישדד? טוב השם לכם עוד גם רב ארון רוקים בן אסתר וגם רב נחם וגם רב זמן גובל בן שרה וגם רב נחם וגם רב נחם וגם רב נחם אוקיי let's go please mute mute yourselves everyone who is on zoom and we're starting you should know when Hashem does something good for a person, person gets excited. Once he gets excited, he gets inner happiness. Or person is in fear, he gets inner happiness. Not inner happiness sometimes, but inner connection. And he reaches the 50th level of Bina, of understanding. But inside the 50th level of understanding is Shechina. The 15th Gimatria is letter Nun, 55-0. The 50th Gimatria is letter Nun. And the living is the word Dar. Dar is like Dira. He lives there, he stays there, remains there. This is where the word neder comes from. When a person makes swearing <coughs> or promising, when a person swears or promises, he makes neder, he swears or he promises. Anytime when he swears or promises, he uses shechina with him. He's like obligating Hashem in his promises and in his swears. So that is called neder. Neder from the word nundar. Inside your intellectual uh, mind, there is a shechina there. Where? Inside the 50th room. It says nun sha'are bina. There's 50 level of understanding. Inside the 50th year, there is Shechina. That is called Nun Dar. Yaakov Avinu is going to Lavan's house. Is he nervous? Of course. He learned 14 years to be prepared to go to fight with Lavan. Who is Lavan? Person's heart 
has 32 ways of desires. I want this, I want that, I want money, I want car, I want house, I want name, I want respect, I want money, I want to rob somebody, I want to kill somebody. Want, want, want. 32 ways of wanting. 32 ways of wanting is all corruption of the desires. This is why the heart is called how? Hebrew? Lev. How much is Gimatria? 32. Why? There's 32 ways of corruption. But Lavan was in 50th level in impurity controlling 32 ways. This is it's called Lavan Lamed Bet 32 and Nun is 50 of 50th level of impurity. So Yaakov Avinu in order to go head and head with Lavan he had to spend 14 years learning Torah not going to sleep but falling asleep. Means he was sitting and learning. If he falls asleep, falls asleep. But he doesn't go to sleep. He doesn't go on the bed to sleep. So it's 14 years of learning and up to be 28 years. Because he learned day and night. Thank you. So this is how Yaakov Avinu wants to be assured to go fight with head, with Lavan head and head. So he had to sleep by Marada Machpela. When he put his head down, Hashem made a ladder from his head, from where he's sleeping, from the ground, until Kisei Kavod, to show him, to show him. That angels going up and down the ladder, according to some of Hashim, angels were Moshe and Aaron. Hashem showed him how Moshe and Aaron were, how Moshe Rabbeinu was on 50th level in Kiddushah, in holiness. And he was able to bring the Torah down. Yaakov, now you are holding there. So this is why Yaakov, we know how many rocks he put under himself. Midrash Rabbah says two rocks. Why? Because there were two tablets. So he was commemorating Torah. How do we know? How do we say? And he slept there. Vaish. Huh? Vaishkav bamakomahu. What's Vaishkav? Five letters. Ve yud shin. Ve yesh kav. What's kav? Chav bet. 22. And there is place that 22 letters of Torah coming out here. So Yaakovinu saw the giving of the Torah here. Why according to saw it here? Because he had to be sure that he has 50 level of understanding to go head and head with Lavan who has 50 level of impurity. So now, Yaakov Avinu, he had to be sure that he is in 50 level of understanding in holiness in order to undo 50 level of understanding of corruption of Lavan. Because Lavan was Impurity. If you think the biggest guy who was magician in the Torah is Bilam, you should know Lavan was his teacher. This is why Yaakov Avinu had to go head and head with him. Do you know before Yaakov Avinu went to Lavan, uh, <coughs> Rivkai Menu sends a messenger to say, My son, come back the way we got married. Through sending Eliezer, we're going to send Eliezer again. Yaakov said, no, I'm going to battle this Lavan head and head and I'm ready for that. Do you know what I'll tell you? You know, it was my, my, my big mistake was a few days ago, I was in one Yushvo. I wanted to bring all these points in the yard side, but unfortunately, unfortunately, over there people not holding in the level that we're holding here in Shul. Because here we learn deep stuff. We're already somewhere above. And it's big, big plus. You should know that. You, Each man. one of you is special. Thank you. Because you things that I say here, I cannot say it outside. I say outside, people looking at me like, come on, what happened to him? He didn't sleep three days? Well, what's going on with him? He's hungry? Oh, he's thirsty? He doesn't feel well? What are you saying? You know, people think I'm drunk. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing you should know. Don't take it simple. You come here today to learn, by you walking here, maybe a certain kid who did not believe in Hashem saw you going to yeshiva, going to learn Torah, he got motivated and you saved his life. You don't even know. And you saved his soul. So Yaakov Avinu, he was not there by his mother's funeral. He did not see how his mother passed away. He did not go to his mother and father when the mother was alive. Why? 
Why you don't go there? You don't care about your mother? Of course he does. So why didn't go? Listen to this answer. He said, Lavan is a big dirty soul that has millions of holy souls inside of him. And I have to go take all those souls out. How the Torah in this parsha calls souls? Tzon, sheep. Yaakov gave up his life for the sheep. He made different type of woods, coloring woods, white and black and black and white and this and that. No. This is Torah talking to you in hidden way. Yaakov had to go to take save souls from him. He says, to save souls, I'm willing to do such a big risk that I'm not even going to be spending my time with my mother. And he went and it says, Yaakov saved billions and billions of uh, sheep, he, he think he needs sheep, in his barbecue, what are you talking about? Yaakov went there to take the sheep, which sheep? Us, us from Lavan. He took 12 Shuatim out of Lavan. In these 12 Shuatim, biggest rabbis in the world come. Even Moshe Rabbeinu comes out of there. Even Aaron Akwen comes out of there. From where? <coughs> from Lavan. I'm sorry, from Yaakov going head and head fighting with Lavan. I'm sorry to say, but you should know. This is all introduction. You should know. Every one of us has his own Lavan in his life. Yaakov fought with angel. Every one of us has that angel in our life. What did Yaakov ask him? What did he ask him? What is your? What is your? Name. What is your name? What was his name? Did he say his name? Angel said his name. You know, Yaakov fought with him till the morning, right? He said, let me go. I need to go praise Hashem. My time, the only time, the only time I have praising Hashem once in my history time. Let me go. He said, no, until you don't tell me your name. Some say he said, play, Peli. Some say he said, this, that. Lemai said, he did not give his name. You know why? Huh? Every cycle. Every generation, the name of this Malach changes. Sometimes Rabbi Esav, sometimes Rabbi Ishmael, sometimes Rabbi Ahmadinejad, sometimes Rabbi Bin Laden, sometimes Rabbi Hitler, sometimes socialism, sometimes communism, all this idealism, all this ism, 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 all this is this Satan. And unfortunately, every one of us, we have to fight with him. This is why we we'll learn Torah. How to learn from Yaakov to fight. You know, why do we say, how do you say Jew in Hebrew? Tell me, how do you say Jew in Hebrew? Yehudi. Yehudi, Jew. Chazak Baruch. Why do we say, Kol Yisrael yesh laim chelek? Every Israel has share in the world to come. Stop. What happened to Yehudi? Say every Yehudi, every Jew has a share in the world to come. Torah says, no, you got it wrong. Why? In order to have share in the world to come, you got to be Israel. When Yaakov became Israel, when he beat the angel. In order to get title of Israel, you have to beat your angel. That what is this. Now we'll continue. <coughs> Yaakov Avinu. <coughs> Before going to <coughs> Lavan, he makes a promise. And he says like this. Whatever you will give me on my way, I will give, what's Aser? 10%. I will give you 10%. He said, Hashem, whatever you give me, I will give you 10%. The question is, the question is, why does it say the word Aser two times? Huh? Why is it Aser Asrenu Lach two times? 
Double the money, I guess. Double the money. The whole Asher Aserenu Lach. Anything Hashem you'll give me, I'll give ten. Ten to you. Okay, let's figure out what Yaakov Inu said. Today's Hashim Shon will start right now. It's not going to take more than 15 minutes. You ready? <coughs> Rav Baruch Avraham, are you ready? Thank you for coming. Thank you everyone for coming. You have no idea. You have no idea how much happiness you give me. Sometimes you see me scream, yell. It's not because of you. It's because maybe sometimes I'm not prepared fully. This is why I scream and yell. It's not to do with you. It's my inner upsetness. Okay, so get it right. Don't be upset. <coughs> We're still the same brothers, same friends, close friends. And you have no idea, every step you put here, it's not less than Yaakovinu putting steps going to Lawan. Why? Mm -hmm. In American world, in American world, that you walk, you have no idea how much in dirty streets you put holiness. In dirty roads. You put Kedusha. And any kid that belongs to Klaus that walks there, he feels Kedusha and he gets motivated. He doesn't know you, you don't know him. That's the biggest tzedakah you can get in life. Now let's go inside. Dalet. Midrash Yalkut. In Yalkut Shimoni Parashat Vaishlach Remes Kufla Ahmed Gimel says, Ala Pasuk Vayavek Ish Imo Adalot Ashachar. And they were fighting Angel and Yaakov until the dawn. Until the morning rises. And Vayavek, it means the dust. The dust went till Shamaim. It was such a big fight. Okay. Lakach Yaakov et kol ma'aser miknehu veshilach biyadavadav venatan le'esav. Yaakov Avinu got all together 10% of whatever he made in Laman's house and he sends it as a gift to Esav. <coughs> Stop. Who did he promise to give 10%? He said, Asen Aslenu, 10 10 I'll give it to you. And who is he giving to? Who is giving to? He's giving to Esau. How is this possible? Burukhim Abayim, right person in the right place. We need a lot of fixing with the cameras, but not now. Please sit down. Thank you. <coughs> לקח יעקב את כל מעשר מקנהו ושילח ביד עבדה ונתן לעשו and he sent it to his servants and he gave it to עשו אמר לו הקדוש ברוך הוא השם said to him יעקב עשית את הקודש חול you made holy mitzvah of מעשר holy objects holy money and you give to עשו you made it Mundane, not holy. Amar lefanav, Yaakov Avinu says, Ribono shel olam, master of the universe, Ani machanif larasha, I am giving bribes to rasha, Bishwil shelo yargeni. So rasha does not kill me, at kan leshono, until here is the, Language of the Midrash. <coughs> Kosher. Zerah Shimshon says it is a little bit difficult. Lama lo shalach mishelo. Umati rutsu ze. Why you want to send? <coughs> send something from your own stuff. Why are you sending? From the ma'aser. You have 90% your brothers. Give from your brothers. Why are you giving from ma'aser to him? Give from yours. And what? What's the excuse? So Esau doesn't kill me. What kind of answer is this? You give holy Sefer Torah to Esau's hands, so he should not kill you? This how, this how it goes these days? The question is, it was really, 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 real Maaser? Let's see. Okay. 
Vishlomar, <coughs> and the answer is, in the beginning, when Yaakov is going to Lavan's house, already in the beginning he made a commitment in his brain. He said, any money I made in Chutz Laaretz to give 10% one thing you should know comes Ramban and Ramban says I'm sorry you don't have to throw chairs on me you don't have to get angry and leave don't be upset it's not me it's Ramban when I learned with Lao Aaron Walkin around 18, 19, 20 years ago he mentioned this Ramban until today this Ramban is ringing in my ears and you see it inside Chumash when you live in Israel, you make money, you get money directly from Hashem's hands. When you live in America or anywhere in the world but Israel, angels give you. You're not getting directly from Hashem, you get reward, you get payment from the angels. <laughs> Yaakov Aminu says, Yaakov Aminu says, I am living with Lavan, where? Chutz Laaretz, out of the borders of Israel. And who is giving my payment? Angels, servants of Hashem. So when angels give you, they are here to harm you. So he said, since angels give me and they might harm me, I want to give this money to Esau. To save myself from harm. I'll repeat it one more time. Look inside Zela Shimshon. I'm reading it. Lomar. In the beginning when Yaakov was leaving from father's house. Already then he said, Hashem, whatever you give me, 10% I give you. Why? Because whatever I'm going to be making out of Israel, it's not from you directly, it's from the angels. Anything I get from them, I'm easily to get hurt. In order for me not to get hurt, I'm going to send this all to Esau. In in America or anywhere else behind. Besides Eretz Israel, you make money, you're not making money directly from Hashem. You make money from angels. 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 And it's worth it. It's important to give them some share, to close their mouth. Did you ever hear that you give to angels something to close their mouth? Patience. Sir, you deserve a give big, big hug. You know why? This is exactly the answer he brings. And I'll show it to you right now. You give back to angels to close their mouth so they should not speak bad about you to Hashem. Hashem, look, he made so much money. Now he's not giving even 1%, Master. When you give them 10%, you, you close their mouth. They're not even going to speak about you to Hashem. Where do we see that? Look what it says inside. Top line. Goral echad la Hashem, ve goral echad la Azazel. Where we learn this from? From Yom Kippur. We take two of the same goats, identical twins. One is for Hashem, one is la Azazel. Huh? Azazel, you respect like Hashem? I have no choice. Why? Close his mouth. On the big judgment day, I don't want him to speak bad about me. Who will learn this from? Yaakov Avinu. <clears throat> Do you see how Yaakov Avinu does one thing? And brings big sign to his children. Ask yourself a question. Is there anything I do in my life that I bring big sign to my son? To my children, grandchildren? That tomorrow they'll say, my great-grandfather did this. I need to continue this way. It's a big question. I'm sure when you get already stick in your hands after you are 99.9 .9 years old. Your son will look at the Zera Shimshon class and say, whoa, look at this. My grandpa was in the shiur. I don't go to shiur, I will go to shiur. 
Let's go speed up. משום הכי, בעל הטעמים נתחכם להניח טיפך תחת עשר. Look at this. Look inside. You see, טיפך, like this sign. עשר, like עשר, עשרנו לך. Like separates between עשר and עשרנו. When person, some say that was Moshe Rabbeinu, it's Allah Chala Moshe Misinai. When it was put ta'amim on the Torah, signs to the Torah, some say that was uh, done by Asher Knesset Agdola. Okay, so when they were putting signs on the Torah, they put Aser. Tibcha, Tibcha under Aser, why? In order to separate from the word Aserf to Aserf. First Aser to second Aser. Why? Look what it says here. Mishumachi. Baal ha-ta'amim nitchakem na'anich tibcha tachad Aser. Tachad Aser. A person who was putting ta'amim, he put Aser separate from Aser. Kedil la'afrit ben Aser shehu chol la'aserenu lecha shehu kadosh. In order to separate from the word Aser, Aserenu Lach. Aser is mundane, Aserenu Lach is holy. To make difference between you give 10% to not holy to 10% to holy. So Yaakov knew he's giving to, to Esau, not holy. This is why it says Aser, to show you it's not holy 10%. Not holy 10%, I gotta give to him. Why? So angels deal with him, not me. <coughs> And what happened? He said, since 10% I'm giving with my money, I'm going to give 10% with my son to Hashem. Now look at this. He gives, you know, when I read it daytime, it was a little bit not so clear. Now it's clear, Baruch Hashem. When Yaakov Avinu gave 10% with not holy, who he gave 10% not holy? To Esau. Then he gave 10% holy to to Hashem. What did he give 10% holy? He said, Hashem, you gave me 10 sons, I give you one of them. Levi. 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 But even in here, Yaakov had a mistake. Where was his mistake? Huh? He said, I'll give you from everything 10%. Means money and children. But he did have only 10 sons, he had 12. So from other two, he had to give also one. Since he didn't do it, this is why brother sold Yosef. Mm. But we'll go to this one other time. Let's go further. Uh... This is why there's recording, don't worry. We'll go over it. Mishum ha'achi, ba'al ha'ta'amim nitchakev la'anech tibcha ta'chad es'asel. Kede la'afrit ben asel shehu chol la'asrenu lach shehu kadosh. Sheze nitkayem be'isul abanim dehainu levi. Yaakov Inu said, Hashem, I'm giving 10 not clean pretend to Esau, but to you I'm going to give 10 clean pretend, one of my sons, which is Levi. Levi, who he became? Servant of Hashem. You bring Korban, Kohen, Levi, take from you, and they take care of your Korban. Why do I say Kohen, Levi? Because Kohanim come out from the Shevet Levi. It says over there in Remes Kufla Medved. V'lochat Yaakov, lefi shekevanato ayakach mitchila. Yaakov Inu never sinned, because from the beginning, originally his intention was like this. Him calls it, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Amar Lo, Asite et HaKadosh Chol. But even if so, Hashem said, Yaakov, you gave ten holy pretend to Esav, which is you took holy and made it non-holy. You shouldn't have called it Maaser. Why did you say, Aser, Aser, I will give Maaser, Maaser, Maaser to you, Hashem, Aser to my brother. Why did you give Maaser, the word Maaser, holy object, to your brother? Why did you even call it holy? Then also, you shouldn't have connect with the statement of I will give ten percent to you, Hashem. Why did you put together? Shelule hataamim haya nishma sheben aser uven aserenu iyelecha dehainu la Hashem. So because it wouldn't be like this, would be aser aserenu lach. I will give ten percent, ten percent to you. It means everything is for. Hashem, three minutes will be done, guys. Patience. <coughs> Not right. Guys, three minutes. Put it down, three minutes. Ukmoshe Darshuzal, as our Chachamim explained. Guys, hello. 
שהפריש חומש. יעקב אבינו גייב, נאט 10%, הוא גייב 20%. ויש כאן מקום לעז לבריות. And now people could make fun of Yaakov Avinu. It's like embarrassment. שיאמרו, שמא שכבר נדעת להשם, חזרת לשולחו אל עשהו. As he, as if he promised to Hashem and he gave it 10% out of this to עשהו. אמנם יעקב יש לו תירוץ על זה. But Yaakov has answered to this, שאין כאן מקום ללעז כלל. Yaakov Avinu doesn't have any place for shame. שהדבר ידוע ששם מעשה אין אוכל על דבר שלא בא ברשותו של אדם. You cannot have giving מעשר from the fruits if fruits never reached your hands. You give מעשר from something that reaches your hand. But whatever money Yaakov Avinu will do or whatever ships he will have, he didn't have it in his hands yet. אלא שבדמאי הקהלו הקלו כמו שפסק הרמב״ם. But only in the fruits that is not Separated 10%, only Chachamim were lenient over there. How quotes Rambam in Perek Ted Melchot Maaser Al Chazayin. Ha mazmin et chavero sheyochal et lo. If person invites his friend to eat by him, vuhu eno mami no ala maaslot, and he doesn't know if the owner of the house gave 10%, Omer me'erev Shabbat, from Friday before Shabbat, he should say, מה שאני עתיד להפריש למחר, הרי הוא מעשר. ורבע I'm going to be on Shabbat eating in his house, and I'll be separating, that should be מעשר from before Shabbat. The thing is, how can you separate now when you will eat tomorrow? It didn't reach to you. Over there all the Chachami were lenient saying that even fruits did not reach to you, could give 10% from there. But money, yeah, money, Yaakov didn't make it. How can he give 10%? To show you, he didn't mean the real master. This is what he's going to. Mipnei she mutar la'adam la'adnot tenaim elu al admai. Only you allowed to do these kind of conditions when it comes to the fruits. Aval pi she eno bilshuto. When it's still not in your possession. Aval bevadai. Eno matne ela al davar she bilshuto at kan l'shono. But only you could make conditions when something is in your possession. One more short, short, short uh, paragraph and we'll finish. One minute, let's go. Vim can, if so. This is what Yaakov Inu said. Whatever you'll give me, I'll give you 10%. If fruits or money, if money and animals did not reach Yaakov Inu's hands, there is no maser here. You cannot give 10%. How can you give 10%? You say, Hashem, whatever I'll make in 10 years, I'm giving 10%. One second, question to you. Did it, does he have it now? No. No, no so it doesn't mean real master. Ulik Sheif Rashenu, Kumosha Kashaw Badato, and when he was separating, he was thinking in his mind, Beet Kiliat Shem, Maaser, the Hainu did not let himself. And when he was separating animals to give to himself, he said, This is Maaser for himself. Iglai Miltele Mafreya, Shalonit Kaven, Elola Hanifo, Latet Lochele Giafe, Sheshmo Maaser. He already from the original, from beginning, he already had his mind, whatever I'm going to give later on, just to save myself from myself. I'm just calling it Maser, but it's not real Maser. Maser, you cannot say because it's not Maser. But Whatever I'll give to myself later, in 10, 20 years, whenever I'm going to see him, that whatever I'm going to give him, I will call it Maser. But it's not real Maser. But Hashem, whatever I give you, this is original Maser. Whatever I'm giving to Esau, why am I giving to Esau? To close his mouth, that I shouldn't get hurt by the, by the angels talking bad about me to you, Hashem. Making Janganozi between me, and you, me, between me and you, Hashem. So I'm giving it just to close Esau's mouth, that Esau's mouth and the, and the bad angel's mouth. So what we learn from here, whenever you go to do mitzvah, you have to make sure, you have to make sure you concentrate to close bad side's mouth also. This is the reason why when we're at Filin, we have string coming out. What is that? To remember we did golden calf. Why do we remember? Oh, Satan, if you open your mouth, here you close your mouth and now I need to pray to Hashem. Hashem should help us to learn and grow in Torah. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen.